Um, I just like to have a structure so that if you guys only want friends we are at Shoprite. i need to do grocery shopping we are completely out of groceries i can't believe it i just went last week i went to costco i went to Shoprite. i went to stop and shop and my fridge is empty so i have a very long list of things i need to get so i decided uh to bring you guys along i'm probably not going to do like a full on shop with me um just because i want to kind of go through everything and grab stuff so enjoy the montage of little things that i'm picking up at the supermarket and at the end of the video I will show you guys everything that we got for our massive grocery haul. So catch you guys in a bit. All right, we're going in. I got my quarter. Here at ShopRite, you need a quarter to get a cart. If you do not have a quarter, you will not be able to get a grocery cart. So here it is. In she goes. There we go. guys let's get our quarter back thank 
you. I am such a mess. I'm all done at ShopRite. I, I don't know what happened. I was in the frozen aisle and my list fell out of my pocket and I feel like I saw it on the floor, but then I was like, no, that's not my, I don't know what I was thinking. So I had to improvise. So of course, when that happens, I end up getting stuff I don't need and then I miss the stuff I do need. So whatever, we're gonna go back to my house. We're gonna go over the hall and let's drive home. All right, people, we are back at my house. We're gonna go through the grocery hall. Uh, as I mentioned, I lost the list halfway through my grocery shopping. So uh, that leads to a very naughty Jeanette because I end up getting a bunch of stuff that we probably didn't need and definitely was not on the list, but whatever. I found some really, really good stuff. I found some vegan stuff for Aaron that I haven't seen before, but let's get into it. I'm excited to show you everything we got and let's check it out. Okay, jumping in, we have a lot of fresh stuff here. Oh my goodness, this counter is very crowded. I'm trying to eat better. I loosely follow Weight Watchers. I don't follow it religiously. I just follow some of the basics of the program. So I'm incorporating a lot of greens, a lot of salads. So I went ahead and I got some arugula. I got a nice coleslaw blend, so I can you know throw this in with some shredded chicken. It's, it just, it's a nice filler. And then I got a spring mix. Penny is crazy with avocados right now, so I've been just cutting them up and putting them on her tray table, and she's just super excited to eat them. Um, Penny also loves this chickpea salad mix. Um, I tried making her chickpeas. She does eat them, but she really loves this salad, um, and it's all good stuff in here, so I feel good about giving it to her. Um, I got some Honeycrisp apples for Max. Those are his favorite apples. And then I got some cherry tomatoes here to throw in a salad. Maybe, you know, throw them on with some olive oil in some heat and blister them a little bit. Uh, both of the kids love raspberries. These were a little bit expensive for my taste, so I didn't get two. I usually get two or the big pack. Um, so I just got one. Blueberries. The kids love blueberries. And of course, it is almost that time. Summertime is coming. Uh, watermelon. Watermelon is a big hit in my house. ShopRite is now interviewing, in case you were wondering. This is um, a little bag of the Little Potatoes. This is the Little Potato Company, and these are creamy little tiny potatoes, and they're delicious for roasting. Speaking of potatoes, <laughs> I love this bird's eye uh, Parmesan garlic roasted red potatoes and green beans. If I'm just, you know, in a rush, I don't have time to boil potatoes and make a cute little dish. These are a nice alternative. You can just throw them in the microwave and it's good to go. I literally don't need to add anything else to this. This is very filling and delicious. The kids love ravioli. Um, anything ravioli or tortellini, they're both about it. I throw these to boil and then I will add some mixed vegetables and some sauce and Parmesan cheese, good to go. And because ravioli isn't enough, I did get the kids some cheese tortellini. Penny loves the Dr. Prager's Broccoli Littles. Um, I like to get her the kale bites. She likes those the best, but they only had these in stock, so I went ahead and grabbed these. these French toast sticks, these are great for the morning. Both the kids love tater tots. I've been getting the mini ones because they're easier for Penelope to handle. I grabbed some bagel bites. These are not the healthiest, but they're a quick little snack for after school. Um, the Red Baron, this is a treat for Max. He loves these, uh, so I'll make him these every once in a while. And then these were on sale, the French bread pizza. I get him just the plain cheese or extra cheese rather and he is a fan of these and then one more item for the frozen section It is the general so's chicken. This is just the smart ones I got this just to throw in the microwave one of those days when I'm rushing around and I just need a quick lunch moving on to the drink section um, I get Penelope some whole milk She drinks like a small bottle in the morning and then a small bottle at night before she goes to bed So we keep the whole milk in stock you guys know how I feel about iced coffee and cold brew and all that stuff. Um, so I've been limiting how much I actually go to Starbucks only because here it's drive through and the line is always so long. So I got the blonde roast this time and then I got the Stowe cold brew in the unsweet black. Almond Breeze, my favorite almond milk of all time. It is the unsweetened vanilla. This is my favorite. I got two because I am actually doing a meal replacement either for breakfast or lunch. It's like the slim fast meal replacement. Everybody is always raving about these uh, sparkling ice drinks. I've never actually tried them and everybody loves them. So I decided to grab a couple. They're a dollar. I mean, they're so inexpensive. So I got the cherry limeade, kiwi strawberry and peach nectarine. Let's see if I like those. Hopefully I do. I got some Coke Zero because I just like them for a treat. And then Penelope has been into the apple juice lately and i like this honest kids uh there's no added sugar um i dilute this with a lot of water it's really just for the taste of it i haven't had fluff in years it was sitting on the shelf it was literally calling my name so i grabbed it because 
I just had to, and I'm just a terrible person. So Bowling Basket makes uh, their own bread. They have these potato hamburger rolls, which are really, really delicious. Max really likes them. I like them. I'm trying to stay away from the bread, but Max likes them for, you know, chicken sandwiches and all that stuff. So I grabbed one of those. When I looked at my hand, I had um, ink on it, and I guess that there's the culprit. That's where it came from. I guess when I used the hand sanitizer, the um, it peeled off the paint. Anyway, uh, Epic Everything Bagel, Dave's Killer Bread, our favorite. I love these bagels. They're fantastic. They're not really for me. They're for my husband for breakfast. I'm trying to stay away from bagels. I might have one. We'll see how it goes. These are delicious. Uh, this Korean style seasoned barbecue rotisserie chicken is outstanding. But just for meal prepping, I'm planning on shredding this up portioning it out and then having it for different meals. But these looked interesting. Uh, they are sweet Italian chicken sausage with kale. So I decided to grab these and try them. I will probably cook them all at the same time, kind of to meal prep it and then portion them out. So I have different uh, lunches or dinners. I am such a sucker for these like California rolls from the supermarket. So I went ahead and I got a couple of containers. This was on sale. It's the Black Bear Honey Turkey. I haven't tried this brand. Um, I'm sure it's delicious. I usually get the boar's head, but I'm sure this is going to be just fine. I got some turkey bacon. I'll probably cook this all at once and then portion it out for some meal prepping. And then some cheeses. This one is for me, reduced fat, sharp yellow. This I sprinkle on like a taco salad or if I make uh, light nachos, you know, like Weight Watcher friendly nachos and then reduced fat, medium cheese. Cheddar. I'll probably have some of this, but I also get these for Max's grilled cheese sandwiches. I'm trying to get more into yogurt and cereals uh, just because it's a light meal and it's healthy for you. So um, I grabbed this pina colada flavor. This one looked very interesting. This is a light and fit Greek toasted marshmallow. So this is going to be a little bit more of a treat. And this one is a light and fit Greek banana cream. So I will try those out. Um, I'm really into making like the uh, skinny taco salads, you know, with the black beans and a protein, a little bit of sour cream, maybe just like a tablespoon. So I went ahead and I got the Daisy light sour cream. I did go ahead and grab some snacky foods. Um, we are fans of this Kettle Brand Crinkle Cut Dill Pickle Chips. These are fantastic and they were two for six. So I went ahead and grabbed one of those. I got the Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips. Max loves those. Sometimes I pack them in a school lunch. Tortillas, these are my favorite tortilla chip of all time. The Cantina style is delicious. However, the Brazilian Lime is my absolute favorite. We have a battle in this house because half the house likes the Cantina. I like the Brazilian lime, so I went grocery shopping. I got the one I like. Garden veggie, we love Stacy's. Uh, my husband typically likes the jalapeno ones, but I decided to grab something different so he doesn't get so burned out on the jalapeno ones. Max's favorite pretzels, Snyder's, cheddar, cheese pieces. I love these as well. These are so addictive, they're so delicious. Um, so these are just like a little treat for him, but these are his favorite pretzels. I did get a pack of Nutter Butters. These are actually vegan by default. Uh, so my husband loves Nutter Butters, so I decided to grab these so he can maybe pack these up for a snack as well. I did get a couple of cans, boring, right? Garbanzo beans, mixed vegetables, uh, green beans, and black beans, moving out of the way. We did get some stuff for Penelope. These were on sale, so I went ahead and I grabbed her the Huggies overnight. Penelope is loving these waffles. Um, I'll give it to her like as a little after dinner treat. It's a little something sweet. She loves them. These are a great little healthy snacks. so if you see these at the supermarket, grab them for your little one because they might like them. Her most recent obsession are these Sprout Organic Crinkles. They are the cheddar and spinach. They're just like little uh, crunchies. And now moving on to the vegan section. Aaron loves kombucha. I like it too. I, I'm not crazy about it, but um, I know that it's good for you and sometimes I will drink it, but he will most likely drink all of these. Um, he likes this brand recently, Health Aid Kombucha, and it was on sale three for 10, so I did grab three. I got him the Bubbly Rose blood orange carrot ginger and then pink lady apple i felt so bad because i got regular like dairy creamer that was like french vanilla and he's like i can't have this and then i saw this planet oat oat milk creamer that's french vanilla so i grabbed that for him so he doesn't feel left out i mean he's just crazy about i i don't i don't think he's ever met a jar of sauerkraut that he didn't like impossible meat guys this is i eat this stuff i i will eat a real burger but i will eat the crap out of impossible this is the best on the market so uh they're 6.99 here in the city they are nine. 10.99, 10.99, so uh, they're a very good deal here. Aaron's favorite vegan cheese, BioLife. Um, he was completely out, so I got him two this time. I got him the smoked provolone and the cheddar slices. He usually likes the mature cheddar, but uh, they were out of that one, so I just got the regular cheddar. It's just egg. Some people are weirded out by it. It cooks just like egg. It's very weird, but he likes it. I think it's pretty tasty. I've tried it. 
Um, so yeah, that's just a nice little protein. And then continuing with vegan protein, uh, tofurkey you guys have seen before. This is just the hickory smoked, really good stuff. A fish-free tuna. Yes, you've heard that correctly. It is fish-free tuna. A lot of people are weirded out by vegan stuff. I'm not, I used to be vegan. I was vegan for seven years. So I would actually try something like this, even though I do eat real tuna, but um, for on the go and for eating a quick snack or lunch, I think this is a great option for him. Okay, lots of snacky stuff going on here. So he loves vegan jerky. The primal vegan jerky is his favorite, the hot and spicy. And the Gardein is jumping in the plant-based jerky market and uh, they're making this hot and spicy one. The uh, Cliff Builders bars, these are also vegan by default. He loves them, quick snack, you know, on the go, great protein. Then I also grabbed these little rice milk uh, chocolate bars, dairy-free. If you guys are lactose intolerant, these make a nice alternative to a chocolate bar. These vegan ramen chicken flavor cups are really, really good. They kind of just taste like a ramen. It's kind of like a cup of noodles, but healthier and vegan. Then we got some crunchy snacks. We got the Earth Balance Vegan Cheddar Squares. Back to Nature also makes a vegan cheddar cracker. Uh, they're called Cheddalicious. Um, and then Back to Nature also makes these chewy chocolate chunk cookies, which are delicious. I've had these before. They taste fantastic. They are veggie spring rolls and uh, Thai style spring rolls. I got these for Aaron last time, the veggie ones, and he said they were delicious. So I went ahead and got the Thai style because I figured if these are good, these are definitely gonna be good as well. This pizza is very, very delicious. It's like plant-based pepperoni, sausage crumbles, homemade tomato sauce, dairy-free mozzarella style, and fresh herbs. He likes it, good price, picked it up for him. I usually get him the Daya pizza, uh, but they did not have that at uh, ShopRite. So I went ahead and got him this American flatbread pizza. That was a mouthful. Hold on guys, there's one more item that fell. Hold on, it's vegan too. Snack lens. <laughs> I've never seen these before. Um, there are some porkless pork rinds that I've gotten for Aaron before. These are different, these are by Chesapeake Bay, but they're called snack lens and they were in the vegan section and they're 80 calories for the whole bag and I think they're supposed to taste like a pork rind. So I grabbed these for Aaron, quick snack, good protein, uh, good stats. So I think he's gonna enjoy them and they have a barbecue flavor. So if he likes these, I will get him the barbecue flavor next time. Thank you guys for checking out my haul. It was super fun sharing it with you. You know, I love sharing meal ideas and hauls and you know, new items that I got at the local supermarket. Hopefully if something interests you, you're able to find it at your local market. Hopefully this will last us five days. And if not, that's okay because I gotta go to Costco soon. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the haul. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed and you love to hang out with me, hit the red subscribe button and like this video. And also you can find me on Instagram at the name is Jeanette. So it's always a pleasure. Thank you guys for stopping by. I will see you very soon with a Target shop through and haul. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.